Hey guys, Mr. Senny20 here, and today we have second episode of Possible Beast in FIFA 14, my series where I explain, uh, well, I describe a player through its stats, its face stats, and I think they're gonna be a beast in FIFA 14 and someone you should use before the game, and also this will carry on during FIFA 14, but I will actually show gameplay with the player. Uh, so, I took in your comments, uh, especially from the random feed video version where I uploaded on a community channel. If you haven't checked them out, be sure to check them out. I'll probably leave the link below. Um, very good community channel, and if you have a channel yourself, you may try to upload on there. Uh, well, someone commented saying I should do two players per episode, and that's what I'm doing today. Uh, first player is this man called Fidel Martinez. He is silver, left wing, 74 overall, main stats 80 pace, 79 dribbling. He has high low work rates, which are brilliant, which means he is a very attacking left wing and that's what you need uh, he's five foot nine which leads to him having a little bit more pace and also he's got the five star skills which is the main thing and three star or four star weaker I'm not sure I think I've done it wrong lads um, then his stats as you can see there he's pretty agile and uh, he's got some right uh, acceleration not the fastest play but I think normally AZ pace players end up being a little bit faster than me I don't know why maybe that's just me uh, and also he's left footed which means he can't cut in which might be a minus however he's got great dribbling and five star skills he's got the perfect work rate which means he might just be a player which would assist a goal uh, not particularly a finisher even though he's got 69 shooting which is quite good and better than some gold wingers uh, therefore his shooting might be brilliant uh, but I'm really excited to use this guy because firstly I think he looks like Neymar maybe it's just me but I think he looks like Neymar when he used to have a mohawk and he's just got five star skills and he just seems absolute beast just face like just a card it seems good he's got five star skills he's got everything you could ask for uh, his price prediction is 17k because right now on the web app he's from 15k to uh, 20k sometimes 10k if you're lucky uh, therefore, I do believe he might just be in the middle of 17k, but will end up going down due to his league not being very much the use and being a little bit, you know, doo-doo, a bit shit, unfortunately, but um, he's got some very good players in that league, but it is hard to make a team around it. Uh, due to some positions not having great players in that position. Uh, also, his country is not the greatest to build a team or a hybrid Ecuador. It doesn't have a lot of players to use. So, overall, I'm very excited for this man. He, I think he might be one of our favorite players in the game. He does seem to have a bit of some minuses, but overall, I think he will be absolutely beast. All right, moving on to the second player in this episode is this man called Bruma. He had a huge drama around him in Portugal when he was at Sporting because he'd done a brilliant uh, work for the national team. Team, and everyone thought he was going to be the next big thing, like the, the next Ronaldo or something. Everyone thought he was amazing. Then Sporting just made a big drama because the club is pretty bad financially now. And just a huge story, so he ended up going to Galatasaray, right, let's just say that. Um, card face stats, 91 pace and 81 dribbling are the main ones. Uh, he's got 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, he is right foot and he's on the left wing, therefore he can cut inside with his 67 shooting, which doesn't seem too bad. Uh, and also he's got pace down the wing, pace it down the wing and you can just cut inside and shoot or maybe even go for the cross and you're in because his left foot is decent due to the 4-star weak foot. He is 5 foot 8, so that uh, he's a little bit smaller than Son of Venice, so it adds... Um, some pace to him but he's got a bit of strength on him which is pretty good and high dribbling which means he can uh, go easily swing and out of the fenders his reg breaks are high medium it's pretty good work which means he'll be mostly attacking sometimes tracking back which isn't too bad my price prediction is 1k due to him being in a, a league which is not very much used and because he is a low rated gold therefore normally low rated goals are around the 1k 700 coins or something maybe 1.5k max and uh, yeah there's a lot of other very good Portuguese wingers therefore I think he might just be around the 1k I'm pretty excited for this guy because I really do love him in real life he seems like an amazing amazing player and a very good player for the future I do think this little thing him killing Galatasaray might just ruin his career but definitely seems like a beast in FIFA 14 so yeah guys that was the video uh, hope you liked Bruma and Fidel Martinez maybe go pick him up on the web app uh, so guys that was the video be sure to try to get 10 likes on this video that would be awesome it really shows the support that you guys give me and also you noticed uh, someone gave me a comment to improve the video and I done so which shows I am just trying to get the best content out for you guys while having fun doing so uh, so yeah guys 
uh, we're nearly at 500 subs, lads. So if we could get to 500 subs before FIFA 14 comes out, that would be awesome. And that's all from me. So I'll see you guys later. See ya.